Welcome everybody to Friday night or Thursday night SmackDown. First match on the card is a six man tag team match between the New Day and the Social Outcast. And then you got Brie Bella, the women's champion, versus Charlotte in the second match. And in the third match of the night, you got Braun Strowman and and Bray Wyatt, but it's one on one against the League of Nations. And then the fourth match of the night, Seth Rollins versus The Undertaker. And to finish out the night is a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. And I'm very sorry, the Intercontinental Championship match ending um, did not record. But I will tell you who wins at the end of the video. I think you might see some of the match. But Seth Rollins versus The Undertaker, first match up on that we're going to watch. On the main shows, we're going to watch two um, matches on the card, and then on NXT, we're going to watch one every time, or every week. So. But Seth Rollins versus The Undertaker. Undertaker making his big return at WrestleMania. Did not have a match, but interfered in the World Championship match between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Now Dean Ambrose on Raw. <laughs> but making his way to the ring now is Seth Rollins. He is the World Champion. But he doesn't have the world championship out here with him for some reason. But Seth Rollins is the world heavyweight champion. Is scheduled for football, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Seth Rollins. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. I guarantee you, this guy hasn't lost a second of sleep over the booze he gets night in and night out. Now, Seth Rollins and The Undertaker. Undertaker coming back last night interfering in that match, but now he's officially part of SmackDown. He is official member of SmackDown, so that means he will not be a part-timer anymore. So what could that mean for SmackDown? The Big Dog is back here. He is the dead man, the phenom, The Undertaker. I'm going to be silent until his entrance is over. And approaching the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker! You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. I don't know, Michael. It's a pick -em. I wouldn't be surprised by any outcome here in this match. The dead man's entrance gives everybody in the building chills down their spine. Getting the very scared when he makes his entrance. As the lights come up. One of the most one of the best superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. The Undertaker, the Phenom. From Death Valley.
And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, wait, nice reverse. Undertaker on the attack quick. Throwing Rollins out of the ring. Another amazing single. Kicking Rollins up. Kick but reversed by Rollins. Spinning him. Man, and then a Seth huge knee to the face by Seth Rollins. Rollins up on the apron Seth going for a huge drop kick. Drop kick bouncing off the ropes but can't connect. Rollins Undertaker back in control. Reversal by Seth. Strike to the face with the right hand. Throwing Undertaker. But he falls before he hits the barricade. Definitely looking Running back in the ring is the Undertaker. What's Rollins doing? He's up on the apron. Let's get it on. Jumps into the ring. Comes in. And they lock up. And then, oh, a huge move. A huge face-busting move by Seth Rollins onto the Undertaker. Waiting for Taker to get up. Now he picks Taker up. Has him. A huge knee to the face. Undertaker still on his feet. Bouncing off the ropes. Undertaker. Irish whipping. And a huge back body drop by the Undertaker to Seth Rollins. Elbows to the shoulders and the back. Oh, Seth Rollins working on the shoulders and the back. Flips Rollins over. And a knee to the skull. Picking Rollins up. Oh, a huge... Or, you know, he's a good reversal, then bouncing on the ropes. Coming at him. Going around him, then a huge DDT on The Undertaker. Taking back control of this match is Seth Rollins. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much... Wearing down The Undertaker now. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Undertaker getting back to his feet. Rollins has him again. What is Rollins going to do? He is in control. Nothing. It's but a huge insiguri. By Seth Rollins, Undertaker. Undertaker getting back up, but not back up enough, and a huge Rollins jump off the top rope. As a member of the Shield. Well, you know, Michael, the WWE roster is full of stories of superstars following their dreams to make it to the big time. And doing taunts, but here comes the Undertaker, then a huge DDT on Taker. Seth Rollins, who was actually in the crowd for a WrestleMania. It doesn't get more cool than that. Now wearing down Rollins is the Undertaker. Undertaker picking up Rollins. Rollins reversal Irish whip over the top rope. What will Rollins do here? He will do nothing as Undertaker steps back into the ring. And then he has Undertaker in a submission. Will the Undertaker tap out here? And there's the release. What's going to happen now? Undertaker gets out of it. Irish whips Seth Rollins over the ropes out to the floor. And then he gets out of the ring on the other side. Walking over to Rollins. I had to pick a strategy. I guess I'd say that like all big men, it's best to keep him off his feet. And he has him up and a huge body slam on the outside. Hurts ten times worse on the outside. But Rollins back in control, throwing the Undertaker in. Elbow to the face. Rollins just standing out there now. 